Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Murph yesterday and you might have thought you got away from squats, but <laughs> you didn't. You did 300 air squats today and then we're going to jump right back on the squat train. Um, Tuesday, we want to couple this with the push press. So typically we'll couple the push press with strict press, but we want to make sure that we get some squatting with some um, intensity in, um, some weight, and then we want to do the push press. So with the squats per usual, guys, you just want to make sure that you get yourself underneath the bar. Take one step back. You guys want to brace with the belly, so think about breathing out through the stomach before you sit down. Again, head neutral, knees out, squeeze the stand, all right? And so we'll have, We'll have a progression, I believe, with every two minutes. You guys get up to, you know, a considerable amount of weight this week in the 80%. So hopefully you guys have fun with this one and go ahead and go get it. And then after we completed that squat, guys, we'll transition to our push press. With the push press, we want to make sure that the barbell is right next to the throat above the collarbone, our hands underneath it, elbows pointing slightly out. We want to avoid the elbows pointing straight forward because we actually do want to have a, a advantageous position for our press, all right? so. Again, you guys uh, come here. It'll be great if you guys can kind of practice getting this nice belly breath. <gasps> Explode up. Explode up. Explode up. Legs first, arms second. That'll be your push press. So guys, again, go ahead and execute this one against the clock. I believe every two minutes, you guys build up to some pretty substantial weight here as well, um, relative to what you can do. And uh, yeah, have fun with this one and go get it. So we made it to the workout portion of today. And with this, we have a bike, we have total bar and we have deadlifts. So your total bar, remember, the only thing that's important to us as coaches is that this hip open and this hip close, right? So if the kip isn't available to you or your hands are kind of wonky from Murph you know, um, the day before because we did 100 pull-ups. If anything's sensitive, anything's kind of out of whack, just think about sit-ups, V-ups, alternating V-ups, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but on the bar itself, we want to kind of get started with some knee raises, swinging knee raises, and then if you guys can go total bar, That'll be great, all right? Once you guys get done with the total bar, you guys just have some deadlifts. So we want feet as, or legs as close to the bar as possible. Nice, proud chest. Push the feet into the floor. All right, and keep the bar close on the way down and on the way up, keeping that spine, or that uh, spine neutral and that core engaged. Guys, we'll have a bike, we'll have total bar, We'll have deadlifts, and then we'll do that some rounds for time and have fun with this. Go get it. <laughs> 